Hi, everyone. I want to welcome you to our DaVinci Deep Dive webinar series. Before we get started, I just want to thank you all for being here. My name is Freddie Branch, and I'm a part of AMC's Dynamics 365 solution team as a product and support engineer. I've been working with our Microsoft solution for close to four years while being at AMC. Before moving to my current role, I was in a pre-sales sales capacity, and in that role, I was able to hear directly from potential customers about what businesses challenges they're facing with CTI. So I've been fortunate enough to experience the beginning interactions and requirements gathering with customer flows and truly understand the requirements from not only a business point of view, but also a technical point of view. When I found out we were going to be an early preview partner for the channel integration framework and what it was, I was extremely excited. For those of you who don't know about the channel integration framework, it allows you to build immersive communication experiences with third-party channel providers like voice, SMS, and chat. Dynamics 365 helps provide a plug and play configuration mechanism for communication widgets based on the framework, making it easy to deploy, manage, and upgrade. Now let's get started. But first, a little bit about AMC. We're headquartered in Richmond, Virginia and run our business on Dynamics 365. We are co-located with our engineering and support teams and support our customers all over the world. We have dedicated solution teams that cover implementation, development, as well as product specialists to ensure your success in looking for and implementing a solution that addresses your needs. AMC is an industry leader in the contact center technology, and that's been our core focus for close to a quarter of a century now. We were founded back in 1995 by Anthony Uliano, who had a vision to productize a services-driven contact center market and provide the best customer experience possible. So no matter the size of your business or contact center, AMC is here to assist and help your customer support teams reach their vision and exceed your goals. We have partnerships that span from resellers to SIs and technology partners, where we're able to maintain certifications with all of the major players. AMC can cover many type of businesses, as well as Microsoft solutions, and that includes Unified Service Desk, and of course, the new channel integration framework, or the web version, and even the classic mode. But with these two types of solutions, there are different flavors of the Microsoft product and user experience. Unified Service Desk requires an installation on each PC and is a thick client, but it provides a robust and complex integration model where you can integrate many different types of business applications to help your agents throughout the process flow when they're handling customer interaction. So that means they have many different applications that they're using along one single interaction, and it's allowed to cover, you know, additional use cases for not only telephony, but SMS and chat as well. With the channel integration framework, it's an HTML based integration with minimal setup time within Dynamics 365. And that's a big plus thanks to the channel integration framework. And it can span unlimited use cases meaning you can have anywhere from phone SMS to phone and chat, or a mix of both. So let's go over a high overview of the channel integration framework architecture. First, you see Dynamics 365 instance, where you have the channel integration framework app, and it's presented to create and manage the certain configurations required for third-party communication widgets to interact with the Unified Interface apps. The Unified Interface app and Dynamics 365 Online exposes the channel integration framework, or CIF, as you may hear me mention, in the right panel to host the third-party communication widgets or channel providers. The channel integration framework adapter enables the communication between Dynamics 365 and the capabilities of the channel provider. And the web-based communication channel, or the third party, is hosted in that widget that 
the channel integration framework provides. This is a multi-purpose communication widget wherein you can host the CTI, chat, or email channel of your choice. The cloud channel provider is the service that you want to integrate and interact with within Dynamics 365, like DaVinci. And this works inside of the channel integration framework. The capabilities of a channel are voice, SMS, and chat, as well as email, and many more. But these capabilities of a channel are specific to the channel provider. And CIF is agnostic, meaning you can work on many different channels and not have to worry about only using one within this interface. Some of the benefits of the channel integration framework include ease of deployment, as well as being channel agnostic. It also allows you to customize the agent experience. But beyond that, it also allows you to bring your own channel providers to integrate third-party cloud-based channels or channel aggregators within Dynamics 365 Unified Interface apps. The channel integration framework, as mentioned before, is agnostic, therefore you can build channels and mix them, like voice, video, chat, co-browse, social media, and any channels, as long as they are a JavaScript-based widget, the framework can support it. The framework is very extensible for the configuration of communication between the channel and Dynamics 365. The two-way communication enables to set the context of inbound, and or outbound according to your business and process workflows. Seamlessly upgrade to new versions of third-party channel providers or channel aggregators as the channel integration framework provides the infrastructure framework to integrate the channels, but it doesn't control the channel versions, making it easy for you to upgrade and integrate multiple lines of communication for all of your agents. You can have one just using the phone and another set of agents using chat. And maybe somewhere along the line, you have an administrator or super agent using both. We had a chance to sit down with Lorley and Kumar Ashtosh at, from Microsoft earlier this week to discuss the new channel integration framework. Ashu is a product leader with over 11 years of versatile experience in the software development industry and is really tight with Microsoft and the channel integration framework. Let's go ahead and have a listen. This is Laura Lee Moore with AMC Technology, and today I'm joined by Kamara Ashutosh. He's product leader uh, with Microsoft and has been working 11 years on the versatile experience in software development. And currently he manages the agent experiences and channel integration charter for Dynamics 365 customer care applications. And his primary objective is to build a next generation intelligent and omni-channel experience that accelerates the digital transformation of Dynamics 365 customers. Welcome, Ashu. Hi, Larlia. And we're going to go through um, some, some Q&A and questions with um, Ashutosh, um, as I think most people may be aware if they're uh, familiar with the Dynamics 365 infrastructure, um, the channel integrations framework is something that's near and dear to him, and today we're going to talk about that. So, Ashu, what excites you about the Dynamics 365 channel integration framework? Hey, uh, first, thank you for having me for this webinar, and it's a very interesting question to answer up front. The thing that I like most about channel integration framework or CIF as we call it is how it fits in the Uber Microsoft vision to empower every person and organization on the planet. Recently, Microsoft published a blog that said like 95% of Microsoft's commercial revenue flows directly through our partner ecosystem. With more than 7,500 partners joining that Microsoft ecosystem every month, partner growth and partner innovation are directly fueling our commercial cloud growth. So, 
Channel integration framework, the way it enables our partners and thus enables um, Dynamics 365 and thus enables Microsoft and ultimately benefits the customers. The right fits in that jigsaw puzzle. The other aspect I really love is the democratization of this framework. It is exciting to see the success of our partners like you and to know that we are collaborating with businesses of all types and sizes wherever there is an opportunity. We are working with partners old and new to help them build their own digital capability to compete and grow together with us. So now it is like, hey, you have an IP that is great and you have a secret sauce that benefits our customers in the channels of their choice. You take this framework and build the other half of the bridge. We all win, right? So you talk about the vision. What is the long term vision? Uh, long term vision, our, in terms of strategy, our long term vision and the short term vision is exactly the same. That is the customer focus. We uh, have built this framework so that customers can choose to talk to their customers in the channels of their choice with the provider of their choice. We provide customers way to bring their own channels into Dynamics 365 while we drive their digital transformation. So we act as a pivot while they have all the axle and all the wheels. In terms of execution, we plan this framework richer day by day. It's at present it is immersive and it uh, does the interaction, but we want to make it more richer and more uh, bring that super agent concept into play by making it more adept for multitasking and incrementally add analytical insights and productivity assistance into the framework. So for customers using a current solution in Classic, how can they leverage it in the new Dynamics 365 Unified Interface app? Fair. So there are two parts of this question. One is the Unified Interface app migration. So that's a separate story, but let me answer the question of if you have built a conversation control or a solution that works with Classic Web Client, how do you move to the Dynamics 365 channel integration framework or CIF? I have seen a um, varied implementation by customers and partners for the classic web client, but at the end of the day, the conversation scenarios are more or less the same. Uh, for example, you have an incoming conversation and you want to take some action in Dynamics 365 for that. Uh, you can you want to search and open that uh, particular contact or account. Or similarly, your agent did something in Dynamics 365 and you want to take some action in your conversation control based on that. For example, I went to a contact and I clicked on phone to make a call outbound call to the customer. So the new framework will allow you to do all of this, albeit in a standardized manner. So there are APIs, there are uh, well-defined paradigms, there are protocols to achieve the same thing. So take your conversation control, which you built using web client and find the points of interaction with Dynamics 365 and replace it with the new APIs, which are standard, which are easier to consume. So that's the simplest way to migrate. So how about customers who are leveraging the unified service desk? Is the Dynamics 365 channel info integration framework supported there? Uh, it, the short answer is, answer is yes. Uh, it is going to be supported. So we, the idea was to first bring it to the web. Uh, the browser version and the browser version went GA last month and uh, we are already seeing a good number of adoption there. Now for the customers who want to use this inside unified service desk, we do not require the partners to go ahead and build the con conversation control all over again. The preview for the unified service desk uh, support for CIF will be coming soon. We are planning to expose uh, CIF as a hosted control. Uh, for those who are familiar with Unified Service Desk terminology, we are going to expose a hosted control inside USD to uh, consume the CIF conversation control. And whatever APIs you have written uh, in JavaScript uh, based uh, control that you have built, they will be mapped to USD events and actions. And after that, it is over to USD developers to wire up the experiences without needing to rewrite the whole conversation control. So you write it once according to CIF APIs. It will work in browser and it will work in unified service desk. Unified service desk is always a configuration and a developer experience. There is always someone who goes and wires up the experiences together there. So that will continue to be for CIF as well. So yeah, support is coming. 
that's great news. And I know um, this is such an exciting time to be a Dynamics uh, partner and customer. And for the next release that's coming up for the channel integration framework, how can everybody lo learn more about that? Uh, the best way to get informed about Dynamics 365 releases, including CIF and customer care applications and anything, is our release notes. The one for the next wave was released a few weeks ago. It is available uh, for public consumption. And for those who want to try out what is coming next, uh, this the best way is to go and register on our insider portal. Just uh, search it. And once you have signed up, uh, you can see different programs lighting up and you can try them out based on the, your areas of interest. Uh, we published the CIF preview program and the CIF V2 pro preview programs will also come up there. And if nothing else works, you just want to get an information of what is going on, what's new is coming and exciting is coming on in this ecosystem. You can always follow me in LinkedIn and Twitter, right? That's correct, and and we all know that we'd like to follow you because you post several great items and articles on LinkedIn um, on an ongoing basis. So for those who have not yet worked with the channel integration framework, how can they get started? To get started with channel integration framework, you, you just need to go and search online. It's There are multiple resources already available. Uh, there are videos that you can uh, look up uh, just to have a brief demo. Uh, the documentation about what the framework is, is already online. It's a one page document which will give you a very good information about what is the different value proposition, what it does. The full API reference is also online and then we have a sample soft phone using these APIs that you can download and then you can refer to build your own conversation control using the different providers of course. And af after this webinar, I think yeah, this will be another resource, right? Yes, it will, and we'll post uh, the various resources that you've referenced here, the the link to the release notes, the link to how to register on the portal, and then some other resources that um, they can t they can look into. So, Ashu, if there's one key takeaway you want Microsoft customers to know about the Dynamics 365 Channel Integration Framework, what would that be? Mm. One takeaway. One key takeaway. Yes. Now with this channel integration framework, the Dynamics 365 customer and their customers are the signature right in the center of the focus. We care about our customers and they care about their customers. So we are offering them a way, a standardized way to connect to their customers in the channels of their choice. And partners are the enablers here. Organizations can connect with their customers and ch with channel and the provider of their choice. It's all about bring your own channel at ease. And it is a supported interaction par paradigm. So next time, this is my ask to the customer. This is the key takeaway. Next time you are setting up a D65 contact center the, and you have a channel that needs to be integrated, the question to ask your channel provider is, do you have a CIF adapter? If you have, if your channel provider provides that, you are good to go, you're all set. So Ashu, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate you taking the time and giving us a, a solid overview of the Dynamics 365 channel integration framework what you're passionate about, and I know as customers and Dynamics partners get uh, more involved, they are going to be equally as passionate. So thank you so much for joining us today, and we look forward to hearing more about uh, what's coming out from your product team in the next coming, next coming months. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'd like to take the time before we move on to let everyone know if you do have any questions, please feel free to write them down in the comments box and then we'll make sure to address them at the end of the webinar. For any questions that we don't get to, we'll make sure to follow up with you personally to answer your questions.
So let's take a quick look at the DaVinci architecture before we hop into a demo. DaVinci gives contact centers the ability to choose different applications from the communication channels used, that is voice, chat, SMS, and consolidates them, giving contact centers the best breed of solutions that they want without having to sacrifice a seamless agent experience because you can't get one or more of the channels. With the DaVinci architecture, you can see we support a number of telephony platforms and many more. This is just an example of how we used to connect multiple types of communication platforms, both in the cloud and on premise with the various CRMs that we support for both in the cloud and on premise. As you can see, we cover multiple layers and make sure that we're there in the deepest possible way. As you can see, we connect in this example through Avaya and Dynamics to make sure we provide a seamless integration across all layers. This gives the agent the experience that they need to help them enhance the call center experience for the customer. Let's go ahead and take a look at a quick demo. Here we can see I'm currently logged in to the customer service hub using Dynamics 365 Unified Interface apps. You're able to navigate to multiple types of customer service hubs or Unified Interface apps based on what the agent or your business uses. So if you're in sales, you can use the sales hub. If you're in customer service and deal with cases, then you're going to want to be in the customer service hub. And there are many more that you can leverage for your business. Over here on the right hand side, you can see the AMC toolbar. You can see that it docks in place and also you can expand it when needed so the agent has the ability to see. We're going to go over a few voice scenarios. As I go ready for the call, you can see that right away, we receive the inbound information in the form of a screen pop right within the customer service hub. So as an agent, I'm able to see who's calling and view any previous interaction history that they, we may have had with them before I answer the call, giving me a better view of what they may be calling about or what issues they may have faced in the past. As I answer the call, I'm able to quickly address Jim's problem and be able to record activity information down here in the bottom. One great feature of AMC is we provide quick configurable call notes that are relevant to your business. And this really comes in handy for reporting purposes. As we all know, we've seen agents where they may not spell things correctly in the beginning, so it makes reporting that much harder to do. Giving the agents quick configurable call notes provides them with a way to quickly type information in. And then when you do reporting, you're able to get accurate real-time data back that's relevant to help you make quick business time decisions. I'm gonna go ahead and type in some call notes and make sure that we hang up this interaction with Jim. As you can see, I've submitted the call notes and we're able to see those reflected directly in the timeline section or the activity section. I'm able to end the interaction and add some additional notes that I may have missed beforehand. And then able to submit this. This allows for not only the updating of this call note, but it's not creating duplicate call phone call interactions. Let's go ahead and get ready for the next scenario. Similar to the first one, as I go ready, we're gonna see something different happen. Right within the screen, we can see that we've returned multiple matches based on the phone number. This lets the agent know that there may be one or more people associated 
to this account or contact that may be calling in. Once we've answered the call, we're able to quickly identify who it is and screen pop directly from the screen. If we do accidentally select the wrong person, we're able to go back to the toolbar and select the correct account or contact simply by selecting that person's information from the toolbar. This gives the agent the ability to not only navigate quicker through Dynamics, but provides them with the ability to select just who the activity is related to. As you can see, the call is from a contact and it's regarding the account. I'm gonna go ahead and type in some call notes. And similar to before, I'm able to quickly select call notes that are relevant to this caller and make them. Now, you can see that down on the bottom, we also have a create new section. This allows the agent, if during the interaction, we need to open up a new entity, such as account, case, opportunity, and that's just to name a few. We can support any custom or standard entity that Dynamics has or your business has to enable the agents to quickly create a scenario. So if I've gotten all the information I need here, I'm able to quickly end the call and open up information that's relevant to this user, similar to how I just did. This allows the agent to quickly end the phone call interaction and begin setting up the new account as needed. Now, CIF provides many benefits, and this is just one of the few providing AMC access, not only to be able to directly integrate, but to allow other integrators the ability to pass their channels in here to allow us to directly communicate to SMS and even web chat. So you can have an, a true omni-channel experience. For the last scenario, I'm going to initiate an outbound click to dial. Once I'm on the contact, you notice that the outbound phone call number image that's right here is highlighted in gray. This lets the agent know that they're able to initiate an outbound click to dial from this. Simply by selecting the image, I'm able to initiate this and begin my phone call interaction with Clint, Jim. Let's hop back over to the presentation. So what are some of the key takeaways? Not only does the channel integration framework for DaVinci provide a robust agent experience, but it allows for multiple lines of communication to sit right within Dynamics without overlapping any of the existing information that they may have to navigate to, allowing them to simply dock the panel if they're not on a call or open it up and leave it while they're on that phone call interactions. Additionally, customers can deploy solutions quickly and easily without having to have a complex installation and configuration set up. Using our DaVinci product, you're able to manage multiple on-premise or cloud platforms and integrate them based on your business needs. So AMC is ideal for helping you implement your ideal contact center, not only for today, but in the future. If you're looking for additional channels in the coming years, or maybe you're looking to go from on-premise to cloud, we've got you covered. From everything from social to SMS, chat, and email, CIF provides multiple benefits, and AMC is right there to provide an enhanced agent experience across those channels. So 
I just want to take a moment to mention that we today was the second of our Da Vinci Deep Dive series. We do have three more left, so make sure uh, if you haven't signed up for one of these and they do interest you, you visit our website and sign up. Today we've gone over multiple benefits of the channel integration framework and how AMC can truly meet your company's needs. So with that being said, over the next few months, as your business is looking to maybe change the technology that they're using or upgrade to the new channel integration framework on version 9.0, keep AMC in mind as we can meet all of the custom and standard requirements that your business may be looking for. We look forward to seeing you at the other webinars. And now I wanna take a second to open up this time for some of the questions that we've gotten. And if you haven't put any in, please feel free to go ahead and use this time to type in some questions and we'll make sure we can answer you. And if not, as I mentioned earlier, we'll make sure to reach out after the webinar. So I do have a question from Zen. And it is, so the JavaScript application will be able to connect to dynamic CRM, but outside through those communication channels and UI. Is that correct? Similar to what Ashu mentioned during the recording that you heard, the communication channel should be sending events with relevant information so that we can invoke the CIF JavaScript APIs to show up right within CRM, meaning we're passing all of the relevant information to be displayed for the agent once we receive that interaction. Thanks for your question. The next question is, does AMC support non-voice channels out of the box inside dynamic CRM, but he's mainly interested in SMS and web chat with the possibility of a chatbot integration. AMC can support non-voice channels out of the box inside dynamic CRM, and you do not need to rely on telephony integration to make this possible. We do support chatbot integration. So as you're looking and wanting to integrate a chatbot and maybe all of these other platforms, it's a good idea to keep in mind what your true business requirements are so that when it does come time, we're able to quickly be able to integrate all of these channels as you wish. Thanks for your question. So we have one more question. Um, AMC has a custom toolbar using the channel integration framework, correct? Yes, that is correct. We do have a custom toolbar that is hosted within inside of the channel integration framework that allows the agents to communicate across multiple channels based on what they select. In the case of DaVinci, we enable multiple types of platforms and provide a true plug and play model where you can go to our DaVinci Creator Studio and sign up on contactcanvas.com and be able to choose the channels that you wish to integrate and directly connect them right within Dynamics. I hope I was able to answer your question. So I have another question. We currently have a premise-based call center but we're not ready to move to the cloud for voice. Are we able to add chat to the user view so they can handle voice and chat? Yes. We are able to add chat to the user view so they're able to handle voice and chat from one interface meaning if you have an on-premise telephony version and maybe a cloud provider as a chat, we're able to integrate these two platforms through our new offering, DaVinci, to seamlessly allow for not only on-premise, 
but cloud-supported communication channels. Someone also asked if Cisco was supported for channel as well. Yes, Cisco is also supported with our integration and we offer multiple types of integration into various different platforms. We do have some additional questions please go ahead and take the time now to write in any last minute ones that you may have. And if we can get to them now, we'll make sure to do so. So we do have a question about if this integration, as said, can work on USD. Yes, this integration can work within Unified Service Desk, but it's not yet released yet. As Ashu mentioned, it'll be released, planning for the next release, we hope. But out of the box today, we provide a configuration-based integration model where our communication platform and call control sits within the right panel. This also supports on-premise and cloud communication channels. Thank you for your question. So we haven't yet gotten any additional questions. We'll go ahead and give it one more minute. And before we go, I want to thank everyone for their time today. And please be sure to visit our website, amctechnology.com or contactcanvas.com, as we will have information about both of our DaVinci and Picasso offerings for the cloud and on-premise. And we received our last question. Do you offer trials of DaVinci? Yes, we do offer trials for DaVinci. They last for 30 days. And then after the 30 days, you're able to set up your account and begin using the toolbar live, as well as setting up your payment and billing information right from within the same interface. I hope I was able to answer your question. So at this time, we do have some additional questions that we're going to take offline and make sure to follow up back with you. Again, thank you for joining. We really appreciate your time today. And I hope this webinar, you're able to learn something new or be able to find out if we can support your type of integration. And please be sure to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. And please make sure to keep up to date with any of our new product releases. Again, my name is Freddie Branch, and I want to thank you for joining. And I hope you all have a great rest of your afternoon.